This video is about uh, integrating a lead strip in a fishbone floor, a piquette floor. So I finished laying the floor and what I want to do is get a lead strip inside the floor. I did a little example here, you can see the lead strip. This is the epoxy coating that I put over it in different colors just to see uh, which one I like. So in order to do this, there's a few things you have to remember. This is where the lead strip is coming. And I've added aluminum strips to make sure that the heat is equally distributed and that the leads don't break. So the aluminum is gonna take up the heat. Also, I didn't just put in a big strip like this, but I cut them into small pieces so that they have room to expand. Fill it up with the epoxy. That's the one that I used. And I have a little car white and yellow that's the one I like best because it makes it look like uh, during the daytime as if it's uh, maple wood and that would be then at nighttime when you turn it on all right uh, put in the lead strip I soldered them together this one's gonna be empty well, not empty, but no lead in that one. Just a single lead stripe. And now I'm gonna fill them up with the epoxy resin. That's the one I'm using. Now the reason I'm using a glue and not a pouring compound is because the pouring compound is transparent and I don't wanna see the LED strip. I'm also adding a little bit of color. I've mixed it to off-white. The white is just too white, yellow too yellow, do a little bit, just so it looks like maple wood, which is standard for a floor like this. There's a small issue with the lead strips, and that is that you can only cut them at certain points. So when you make your the length, you've got to calculate that in, otherwise you're going to get a funny uh, corner because they won't meet up and you'll have a blank spot where no light comes through. Yeah. Today I installed the lead strips. And attached them to the uh, control unit. Temporary for now. Now these lights are pretty obnoxious, I gotta say. But we're gonna fill it in with our epoxy. And these are the samples that I made earlier to see which color I want. So I think I'm gonna go for this one. This one's too dark, this one has yellow in it. Got a couple other samples here. Yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna find the right one. I think it's gonna be actually this one. This one or that one. Comparatively, <laughs> the lights are really obnoxiously bright. So, I'll show you more tomorrow. So the floor is finished. We've got our maple uh, edge running all along. And now we're going to turn it on.
And here we've even got a dimmer so we can turn up the intensity. Get the disco look or just chilling. And the transformer I mounted under here. And there's also a small unit that the dimmer needs. You can tell right here, that's where the two uh, COB LEDs uh, end and go under the floor up to the switch. There's a little space in between. Oh well. And the other cool thing is when I turn up the light, it turns into almost like a black light illuminating white items. Pretty cool. Anyway, there it is.